Torah this year is entitled, Can the Jewish Nation After Sinai, the Chosen Nation, the Orlegayim, the Light to All Nations, can we still gain from Gentiles' knowledge and insights? So I'm wondering about the following. Parsha Yisro's phenomenal Parsha. We have the Jews right at Sinai. Some say Yitro was before Sinai. Some say he was after Sinai. Rosh takes him after Sinai. So we receive the Torah. And Moshe's up there from Sivan. Then you had the Luchot, breaking the Luchot. Yud Zayin Tam was all the way till Yom Kippur. Vahimi Machrat. It's after Yom Kippur now. Moshe is judging the people. And Yitro comes along and what does he say? I have advice for you. It's too hard for you and too hard for the people. And Moshe embraces it. So Yitz Hashem will analyze that in another shear, what his novel idea was, why Moshe embraced it. But I think there's something crucial here. Here are the Jews. We became the Am Skula at Sinai. We have a special bond with Hashem. Where the light of the nations want a new level. And yet, a Gentile's coming and giving Moshe advice how to run the system. I think the message may be that we have to be careful not to let this get to our heads, not to have ego, not to feel that we are different other nations that just almost like a goyim and they really don't have any place in this world, which unfortunately many from Jews do relate to the Gentiles that way. There's a danger. There's a danger of a destructive kind of elitism where the fact is Jews have the Shema and Gentiles have the Shema. Gentiles and Rambam rights can achieve all them Haba also. They have the seven mitzvahs. You have Hasidia with all them, righteous Gentiles. A Gentile could convert if he wants all 613 mitzvot. They're human beings. And there's a danger that we could lose that touch with our fellow human beings, with mankind. And therefore, the very parsha where we developed into the Am Skula, where we have millions of people witnessing and becoming in the Vim, prophets, experiencing divine revelation, and that very parsha, where our egos can get so carried away, Yitro comes along, and Moshe accepts his advice. So from outside of a nation, goes ahead, and has an insight, and has a parsha named after him and his merit. I think there's an amazing, amazing lesson, and something we should all embrace, to think about how we relate to the rest of mankind, and make sure we do it in a responsible, proper, and rational manner. Shalom.